When I walked in, the first thing I saw is that your female is over here and your male is over here. They don't see, they don't recognize each other. We need to do this. We need to bring them together. So how do we do that? We add chunks of wood to the nest to about here. It has to be a soft wood, something that they can chew easy. Mm -hmm. That will force them to work together for a common goal. The next thing that we need to do is we need to do a diet change. Mm -hmm. We need to go from the diet that they recognize to a diet that has a protein level that's higher and that will stimulate them to breathe. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do to get them to nest. You're buying a lot of great things for them. You buy palm oil. Um, you're buying pulses to soak, but we need to break the, 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 the certain compounds in the grains, in the pulses, block the uptake of calcium. And African grains have a very high calcium requirement. So we want to make sure that they're getting as much calcium as they can. So what I want you to do is I want you to get whole grain pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta is macaroni. Yes, yes, I understand. I want you to, to cook that. I want you to cook carrots. I want you to cook sweet potato, the yellow sweet potato. I want you to cook broccoli. I want you to cook pumpkin. Not too much, but just enough to break the fibers. Because they have a high vitamin A requirement. By breaking the fibers, they can absorb the beta carotene. Then we're going to get tuna fish packed in water. Cooked tuna in a can, mm -hmm. packed in water. We're going to mix all that. We're going to take their food out at night. So you're going to take the food out. You're going to do. No, you, you, huh? You're going to do this at night. Mm -hmm. In the morning, you're going to give that to them hot, very hot. If you want to add some vitamins to it, you can add a little bit of palm oil to it, and then you give it to it for two hours. Two hours. Because it spoils. Mm. You've got fish in there, remember. So what it does is it meets the beta carotene requirements, and we're providing a good source of fat, readily fast. Because right now, if you put the palm oil on their seed, they're shelling the seeds. They're getting very little. How do you provide the palm oil? Uh, How do you give them the, the, the red palm oil? Uh, three times in uh, the week. No, but how? On the seeds? And the nutri beards for uh, Versailles. Okay. Give it to them in, in, in an easier form. You know, put it on their soft food. Mm -hmm. You want them to eat it right away. Mm -hmm. So but, but what we want to do is we want to make a change. You're going to put them for six or eight weeks on just seeds, nothing else, no Nutribird, nutri nothing. Just uh, what? Just the seeds, just this. Mm -hmm. For uh, six weeks. Six weeks. No vegetables, nothing, just seeds. Mm -hmm. In six weeks, we're going to switch only to, to the Nutribird, no seeds, and we're going to give them this other food, this mm -hmm. warm food, mm -hmm. and you'll see they go right to mess. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tony.